Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a sunflower seed mistake that I made. And if you can see, these are all little sunflower seeds that are in these pots. I've got four pots up here. And what I did was at the end of the season last year, I just put all of my dried um, sunflower seed heads in these pots and I let the squirrels and the birds have them basically because I, I don't like sunflowers anyway and the cats and they look how easy they pull out um, the cats enjoy watching the birds and the squirrels anyway from the bay window as you can see my gorgeous little Fiona here so I thought all winter long well, they probably cleaned all this out because it looked like it was cleaned out. What they were doing is they were just really pushing the seeds down. And I thought, well, okay, this would be great. This is a lot of good material to which I can use and it can sort of self-compost in a way. However, they did not get all of them. I will not be making that mistake again because I have probably dug these things out five or six times now. I usually plant my sunflowers right here at the bay window because I love the way it casts a shadow into my living room in the early morning. But what I will do this year is when I'm done, I'm just going to lay all of those heads underneath here. And now I have self-seeded for the next year. The cats can still enjoy them with the birds and the squirrels all winter long. They might actually have a better view. So I think that would actually be a smarter way for me to redefine my gardening plan for the sunflowers at least for next year. The point of this video is don't make my mistake. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. Learn from it. Keep going. And the most important thing that you can really do is to just get started doing what you want to do and creating out here with gardening. Because gardening is food. It is self-sustainability. But it's also a level of creation. Thank you so much and have a great day.